Hey, welcome back on this uh, Friday. As expected, first alert you to some uh, isolated thunderstorms working across uh, Michiana. Brief heavy downpours. Good news is severe weather threat uh, fairly low with this. Uh, the only real system that I'm keeping a really close eye on that I have been for the last hour, hour and a half near Winnemac, uh, where there's certainly some heavier downpours, but right on the northern or the eastern side of this line could be looking at uh, 35, maybe 45 mile per hour wind gusts. It's going to continue to work to the east. It is weakening. Uh, I've seen a number of lightning strikes. Uh, the amount of lightning strikes go down dramatically uh, just in the last hour or so, and that has to do with just the, uh, the atmosphere are really stable in and across Michiana. So not expecting an uptick in activity. When I zoom this map back out, it looks like a very active radar. But most of this is just heavy downpours with some isolated uh, you know, thunderstorms connecting all the way back down here to the south with the possibility again a stronger if not severe thunderstorms back into Illinois. You can see how it looks a little bit different with the darker reds kicking up, but also the higher concentration of lightning strikes in those locations as well. Uh, for us, it's more about what's going to happen on Saturday. Upper level low is fueling uh, the showers and also uh, the cloud cover that are going to be in and across the area. Uh, similar to what we had uh, today, I'm expecting widely scattered showers as we go through the day. So what that looks like, this is a Saturday at 7 a.m. Upper 60s and the lower 70s cloud cover in place. It is going to be a warm and muggy start to the day. By 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we say scattered showers or an isolated thunderstorm. There's one there. There's one there. And scattered one there. Coverage is going to be low. I'm not expecting an all day washout by any means. In fact, in terms of rainfall, I expect lower amounts on Saturday than what we had today and also what we had yesterday. Oh, there's another scattered shower right there. Yes. <laughs> Saturday at 2 p.m. as we get to the late late evening on Saturday. <laughs> Clouds start to clear out. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Uh, the humidity will hold all the way through our Sunday. And in this kind of environment, once again, we'll see a scattered shower or two. This is Sunday at 7 o'clock in the morning. Once that upper level low works off to the north and the east, you can see how things open up and we get back into a very comfortable pattern. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in the mid to upper 70s, but also check out your overnight lows. 54 degrees Monday night into Tuesday, and then 52 degrees Tuesday night into Wednesday. That 78 is going to feel more like 80 to possibly 85 degrees in the middle of the day. 77 is going to be rather humid as well. Now that being said, we're not completely done with the heat. We're not completely done with summer all the way to the right side of your screen. 83 degrees on Friday, 84 degrees on Saturday and then next Monday, not this Monday, next Monday, a high temperature in the middle 80. So it is going to be a rather hot. There's a look at your first alert to 10 day forecast. You guys are all just scattered around that desk, aren't you? Yes, we are. I couldn't stop uh, laughing at that. <laughs> and uh, Sabrina says a week from tonight we're going to have scattered football.